to do this, uh, to follow me along, here's what I did. I went to the Unity Asset Store and I downloaded the Soldier Character Pack, which is under 3D Models, Humanoids, Humans. And I also downloaded the Mechanin Animation Starter Kit, which is under Animations in the Unity Asset Store. And I also downloaded the Mechanin Example Scenes, which is under Complete Projects in the Unity Asset Store. Doing this uh, allowed me to have all kinds of animations from which to choose. So when I download these, stuff, these things, here's what I see. I see all these different packages that I have. And what I'm doing is that I, I'm putting my scripts uh, underneath a folder called My Scripts. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create an animator. And I'm going to keep the animator in under the folder of My Scripts. I do that by right-clicking and create an animator controller. And there's my new animator controller. And I'm going to call it, uh, I'll name it, um, my blend tree. I'm going to make it a blend tree, but you'll see what those things are. Okay, my b l e n d t r e e e bangy. And then when I come over here to click on it, and I come over here to the left under animator, there it is, and there's the any state that I have. So since I'm going to be working with three different animations, I need three different blends. I'm going to have a walk left, a walk right, and an idle. So I right click on here, create state. Whoops, I'm sorry. Let me come over here so you can see it. I right click on here, create state, and I'm going to uh, from new blend tree. So I click on that, and I see there is my blend tree. And it looks just like the default state that I had before. However, if I double left click on it, I now see that it went from base layer to blend tree. Look. I click on here, base layer, and if I double click, and that goes to blend tree, and now it says blend tree, and I see I have this little arrow here with a number. Now, this may not make much sense yet, but here's what I need to do. I need to go to my parameters, and I need to put in the parameter, and I'm going to put in a float, and you'll see in, in a moment why I chose that particular data type, and I'm going to call this new float, I'm going to call it direction. Now watch what happens. D-I-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. I can call it anything I want to. But notice now that the slider bar is labeled direction. I, I really And I can move it. And when I move it, it moves from 0 to a 1. And, and that, wow, that's really pretty cool. If I come over here to the right, when I left click on the, on the blend tree uh, state, and I come over here to the right, I see there it is, blend tree. That's what I named it. Uh, the parameter is direction. That's the only parameter I have is direction. I could have more. It says the list is empty. What I want on the list, I want three states. So I'm going to go one, add a motion field. I'm going to go two, add a motion field. And I'm going to go three, add a motion field. Now what you'll see here is you'll see there's three different motions, none of which have been defined yet. And there's a threshold for them, uh, which is, goes from 0 to 0.5 to 1. Now, that may not make a lot of sense yet, but just bear with me. If I look over here, I see there's three dots here now uh, for something. Well, what I would like to have is I would like to have the central motion be the idle state. It could really be any of the states that I wanted. And to do that, I come under local motions, I come under animations, and I open up those. And I come here to default avatar. And there's idle, and I want to take and put the idle right in the center, right there. So that's going to be the idle. And notice now, when I come over here on my blend tree, I now have the center one is idle. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I can, I think I can move this. No, is it going to let me move one? No, I have to move the whole thing. Okay, well, so be it. All right, so now I've got that. So let me click on this. The next one I want is I want a walk right medium. So if I, uh, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to put it up here. It makes no difference which one I go to. And bang, if you look over here, now you see the blend tree has a walk right medium on it. And let me get rid of this hierarchy thing. See if I can put this some other place over here. 
and now the project, and then maybe we can see this better. Yeah, there's my blend tree, and I can see it better. Left click on it, comes over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a walk left medium, and I'm going to put that right here, okay? So now I have these three blend trees, and if I move this, do you see them highlight like when it's 0.5, and now when it's 0, he's going to be walk right medium. Now it's going to be idle, and now it's going to be walk left medium. The thing is, is that over here, this shows me my limits from 0 to 1, and what I'd like to do is make it from 0 to 10. I just don't want to work with fractional numbers, so I'm going to put a 10 here. Okay, there's my 10 now. And then if I come over here, I see this will work from, from uh, 0 to, to 10, okay? With 5 in the middle being the, the idle pose. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to get to my hierarchy. I need to look for my soldier. There's my soldier, and I need to add a component. And the component I need to add is my, um, um, wait a minute. Yeah, the component I need to add is now right here, my controller. Uh, I'm, I'm having a missing animation, so let me get here. And the controller that I want is under my scripts. And there's my controller, which is my blend tree. And I'm going to go over here, and there's there that is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see is at, if I set this to a 5, I'm going to set this to a 5. And when I set that to a 5, he should be in the idle position. So let me click on this and see if he is. Yeah, he's in the idle position now. But notice that his position stopped. It didn't go any further than that. It just stopped. He initially was in the idle position, but then he just stopped. Let's see the reason why. There he is. He's idle. He's looking around. And now it just stops. So if I come back... And I want to see what the issue is. I come here to back to the hierarchy. I'm sorry, I come back to project. And if I look under uh, the animation, and I look under, this is my idle right here. I left click on that. And now I come over here. I see model rig and animations. And I see clips. I see idle. See idle is a clip under that. If I left click on that, and I come down here, what I'll see is loop pose. I want that pose to loop, so I click that. Then I come down here and I put apply. Now this this idle uh, animation will loop. So if I click on this again, now let's watch him. And there he is. He's staying idle. Okay, he keeps looping through the idle, and that's what I want. So the next thing I'm going to do is that since I have the blend tree set up with these values and I have direction here, I now need to create a script. And let's look at the script, and, and I called it blending. I've, obviously, I already have it uh, done. I've written out the code. Let's see if the code makes sense. And here it is, blending JS. What I need to do is I need, as before, to set up uh, an animator, uh, which is a, a, a class uh, in uh, Unity 3D. And I'm going to call that my own name. I'm going to call it lowercase animator. Now, under function start, I need this line of code here, uh, a get component code. And the reason why I need it is because I found if I don't use it, this doesn't work. I wish I could give you a better explanation, but that's the only thing that I could find. Now I'm going to use the function on GUI. I'm going to make a variable my direction. I'm going to make it a float. I'm going to put animator get float direction. So it's going to get the value of that. Then my direction, uh, which is a float, is going to be a GUI, a horizontal slider, and that's just standard for setting up the horizontal slider. That's its value, initial value, and it has a range of 0 to 10. And so it's going to set the float direction, and, and, and this, is the, uh, this is the variable that I had in, in the... Uh, in the state machine, which was direction, its value is now going to be my direction. So it'll set a value anywhere from 0 to 10, anywhere from 0 to 10, depending where my slider is. So all I need to do is attach this to the soldier. So let's see if, that's, if that works. So I come over here, 
to where my uh, soldier, here's my soldier character pack. And I come here uh, and here's my soldier. And whoops, I'm sorry. Here's my soldier. And if I click here on my uh, soldier, oh, I'm sorry, he's in the hierarchy. I apologize. He's right here. Click on him. If I come down here, uh, there, there is the blending script that I wrote. And the script uh, is JavaScript. The animator is the soldier. In other words, I just drag this and put it right here. So now let's see what happens when I have all this together. So I'm going to click on this again. Uh, there it is an idle position. I'm going to move this over here. And uh, lo and behold, it's, it's not moving. And let's see why, why this isn't moving.